This is McCook's Mr. Middleton, honored to have you here. Today I'd like to talk about keys, keys that open things. That's right, two key stories I'll tell you today. The first one was mine, and quite often, over the years I would haul parts for ranch out here, and it might be an hour drive up to North Platte, or maybe an hour and a half over to Kearney, or maybe clear out to Denver. Five hours each way, a 10 hour trip to get that part that they needed immediately. You bet. And so one day I got the call, went out to the ranch to uh, do the duty that they required. And as I got there with my car, they said, no, you're not taking your car. We want you to take the pickup. It's too big a part for your car. Fine, it's happened before. And so I just simply, uh, the car was shut off and I just pushed the door and locked the door and slammed it and realized then that I'd left my keys in the car and I didn't have another spare. Went out, got the parts, came back, drove that 10 hours that day. Then one of their hired hands had to run me home 50 miles to my house and then he went back and then I uh, came back with him with the key so that I could get in my car and then come back home. In other words, I drove an extra 150 miles and any one of those miles I could have been in the wrong place at the right time. We could have had a wreck, we could have been injured, or we could have been killed because I just didn't take care of my keys like I should have. From then on, if I can find it in here, from then on, uh, go this way, from then on I always keep a key in my billfold. That's right, I keep a key in my billfold, an extra one, for my car. So if it would ever happen again, I've got a plan B. I've got a plan B. And so we go to the second story, with a sad ending, I might add, because of a key. A man on a ship, he uh, was the head of the lookouts, and he had a key for the box with the binoculars so they didn't walk off. And he forgot to give it to the guy that came on the ship as he left, though. He forgot to give that key. And so they didn't want to turn into the box. They didn't want to turn into the box to get that set of binoculars. And somebody with a little bit of power said, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. We, we can get by without binoculars. There ain't gonna be any trouble. And so that ship headed out on its maiden voyage, maiden voyage with lookouts just using their eyes to watch for any danger that might be out there. For any danger. And that set of binoculars, what did that cost them? Well, that ship was the Titanic. And a set of binoculars could have very easily seen that iceberg maybe a couple of hundred yards or more sooner. And that ship wouldn't have had to sink and the tragedy that happened and the 1,500 people that died that night didn't have to. And it was because of a key. Keys are very important then, and they're important today. Keep track of your keys, and whenever possible, have a spare. Thank you for your time.